Alright, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode we're going to do an unboxing of Cruel Necessity, the English Civil Wars of 1640 to 1653. This is by John Welch, and is published by Worthington Publishing. It is an SPO, single player only game. Um, and this is a deluxified reissue of the original game that was from Victory Point Games many years ago. This is part of the States of Siege series. Worthington has been uh, reproducing many of those classic titles and for my money this has always been the best States of Siege game ever. So uh, Israeli independence is like the easiest one um, but this is the best one in my opinion. So I know some people think Dawn of the Zeds is better but uh, sorry Herman this one gets it for my money. So let's dig in and see what you get inside. Hey if you're enjoying these videos be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. Start with we have the rule book, always kind of important. Same beautiful artwork that's on the cover, and it is 26 pages. Glossy. So you get a little shine to it, but not too bad. Large print, starts out with a player aid on the front page, and then you go into the Cruel Necessity rules. So you can refer to the player aid in here, but it looks like we have a player aid in the box as well. So if you lose it, you got this one. Uh, graphic examples, you know, lots of, lots of artwork in there. Procedure. A lot of it looks very similar to uh, the one I remember from Victory Point Games. All right, so you can set up and play. Let's see, optional rules. So the rules are only about 23 pages, along with a lot of examples. Uh, it looks like, in fact, we may have an example of play here. Yeah, final scoring victory. So really. Uh, the rules for play go to about page 20 or so. Alright, so you get your rule book. We got player aid. Nice glossy cardstock. Tells you how. See, on this side is the sequence of play, list of player actions, key to words and symbols, and success and failure in the Siege of Oxford. And on the back, the tactical battle sequence of play, rules to remember. And then your flow of battle. And we've got a sheet of counters. Nope, two sheets of counters. Okay. And they're pre-rounded, pre-shaped. You know, you don't have to do any clipping or anything like that. This is sheet number two. You've got the North, the West, Ireland, Ireland, the Catholic League, uh, France only. You got your double tree markers, clubmen. DRMs, Parliament, Catholicism, Zeal Points, Puritanism. You got your uh, fortresses, uh, and then your uh, combat troops here, laid out in their uh, in their battle formations. So you're going to randomly draw some of these. So that's page one, or <laughs> counter sheet number two, I should say. Counter sheet number one. And again, you got your some more devil tree twos, clubmen, strength markers, your trackers for the monarchy, Ireland and Scotland, uh, more of the fortress markers, and then your various troops that you're going to draw from. And then we've got our game board, which we'll take a look at here in a second. And then below that, you've got one of those nice uh, Worthington trays for organizing, and as you can see, it's got a lid on it. Take that lid off. You got two dice, a red and a blue. And looks like red's gonna win, six to three. You got your decks of cards. And then so we've got a deck of cards here. And then we've got these other cards as well. Alright, so the first deck we've got here is uh, appears to be the Let's see what it is. Let's see what it says here. These are battle event cards. I forgot. These are the ones that you draw during your battle 
to have different things uh, have an effect on the battle so it's not always just you know predetermined so for example in this one keep your powder trust and guide and keep your powder dry retain this card during step four of the battle sequence play this card for a decisive battle if you win also apply increase to monarchy if you lose also apply an additional decrease to monarchy and a decrease to parliament so these are various these are various bonus cards that you can use uh, during your battles or hindrance cards as it were and then we have our uh, this is number one here let's see what we got here State of Siege is played over three eras, and you draw the cards, and it gives you your action points, and then and then alters the game state, and then you make decisions based on the current state of the game. So uh, we've got uh, the the uh, bronze deck. If you do them in order, you can queue them up and play the game in order. So there's 1640, 1641, 1641, September 1641, October of 1641. So you play them in order, or you shuffle them up within the group so you finish this set before you get to the silver all right so for example here uh you get a plus one strength to scotland times two so you would increase scotland strength times two and then the covenant covenanters victory is also promoted presbyterianism as a form of church government as opposed to episcopacy episcopacy which was favored by the crown so you just discreet decrease your scotland tract and then John Pym creates the Parliamentary Committee of Safety. The purpose of the committee was to secure funds first for the king and later for parliament. So uh, Catholicism gets a plus one DRM. So if you want to roll on the Catholicism chart, you would get a plus one die roll modifier to your roll. All right, so we should have another deck of cards here. I'm going to see where they are because we also don't have a number one. We do have this other stack that was not shrink wrapped. So this tells you, okay, so here's the first Civil War, the prologue, and it tells you, you can see the matching color banner. And then we've got the second Civil War, English Civil War, 1645 to 49, that's the silver ba banner. And then the gold banner is the third English Civil War from 1649 to 1653. And this tells you your victory check, and what you would do to determine that. So you play through these and get the silver and then get to gold. So here are the other cards. There we go. Okay, good. So there's the last two silver, and then here's the gold deck. So you would shuffle the the, bron the, the gold deck, put it on the bottom, silver deck, and bronze deck. Or play them, like I said, in numerical order. So that is that. And now let's take a look at that game board. All right, so we're looking at the board here. It's, it's mostly on the screen. Uh, it's just a six panel board, three by two. Uh, and you get your various tracks. You so you got your four different regions. This is where those fortress markers are gonna go and they, they got the opening so they rotate on the board to show its current strength. So if you want to, you know, you want to reinforce it or defeat it, you have to fight that strength. Um, various cards are noted where they're gonna take place on the board. You got your tracks for Scotland, Parliament, and Puritanism, which well it goes from Puritanism to Catholicism, monarchy to Parliament, Scotland to Ireland. So you're gonna be moving up and down that track favoring one versus the other. Here's some achievements it's off the screen here. So here's some achievements that you'll, that'll have be available to you. Those are some of the cards that you draw. There'll be achievements that go out and play and they'll, they'll have an effect on what you can do. I like the artwork on it. I like that it's not a puzzle piece map like it used to be. It's a, it's a nice mounted game board, but very, very, uh, you know, looks like a period, period map. Uh, even the even the fontography and stuff like that on it is really nice. So that is the game board, and we will now do a recap of everything you get in the box. All right. So if you pick up a copy of the newly revised, upgraded uh, deluxe edition of Cruel Necessity now from Worthington Games, you are going to get those two dice. You're going to get the three eras of event decks that you're going to draw. You're going to get the deck of battle event cards and you'll get those uh, uh, summary cards for the various civil wars. But you're gonna get this really great tray, the two dice, the lid for the tray. Then you'll get that game board that we just took a look at. You get two sheets of pre-rounded counters. 
a cardstock player aid and a very easy to use 20, 28 page rule book all in a beautiful box. And that is everything in Cruel Necessity, Cruel Necessity, English Civil Wars of 1640 to 1653, a game by John Welch from Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!